And I lay it, I jumped over the wall and it was a courtyard and then the building was offset by about maybe 20 feet. And I, when I jumped off the ladder, I was in the shadows. And I remember having the thought in my head that I was just gonna go right up to the door and I was gonna hold security for the breach team. And something told me in the back of my head, like, just stay here in the shadows, just for a minute. And the target, it, was a, it wasn't complex by any stretch. There was an open window, a door, and then much like an American house, it almost seemed like a garage was jutting out. And then the, instead of a garage door though, there was another window. And I was just gonna go to the corner and hold security for the breach team, but I didn't wanna turn my back to the window where the garage door would be. So I waited until there was a couple of us in the courtyard, started walking towards that corner that I was gonna post up on. And the second that I took my eyes off of the window that was illuminated, literally as I swung my head to look into the window that was not illuminated, I heard, round starting to crack off from my left hand uh, shoulder. And the first round out just drove right into my hip. It was sideways, so it missed my femur by about a quarter of an inch, spun me towards the person that was shooting. The second round hit my belt and uh, traveled down it two or three inches and the, the copper uh, jacket of the AK-47 round is actually still burned into my belt. Slammed me on the ground and I went sliding underneath a car, which was not awesome because I was laying on top of my gun trying to get out from underneath the car as I was watching muzzle flash and hearing rounds impact. And it seemed like it took forever for uh, our guys to shoot back, which probably was about a quarter of a second. Um, and then the target, it, it became almost a mass casualty incident. There was eight Americans that ended up being hurt on that target. We explosively breached on our side of the door. They were making entry on the other side. So there was a gunfight in the hallway that uh, two people were injured by, and then people were injured by the breaching charge. So it was actually, you know, even at the highest level, it was the effects that came from that largely were from the fog of war. People at the apex of what is possible, and it was a blue on blue or a green on green, whatever you want to call it. So I ended up being one of the least injured people. They were putting guys on helicopters, flying them out of there. Um, they put me on a Bradley fighting vehicle. I basically, as the firefight got kicked off, I got drug around a corner. A buddy of mine cut my pants open to get a look at the injury. I put direct pressure on it with my hands. Got drug out of the courtyard eventually. It got wrapped in Curlex, which is just gauze. And then I got thrown in the back of a Bradley fighting vehicle and uh, driven to the green zone. And that was it. Started, you know, the medical treatment began from there. And then I got flown to Germany, to Launchstuhl, Germany. And then I was there for maybe two days and got myself on a Delta flight and flew home. So you get to Germany and I'm sure you're just. Well, there's what? three of us in the room. One yeah. guy was shot in the hand. So he immediately went to the bar because he's an asshole. <laughs> he was told not to leave and immediately left. The other guy, has, his arm was just filleted. And uh, like not coming back. No, he saved it. Nice. And he's actually uh, now is on the CBS show SEAL team, Tyler Gray. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, we were on the same target yeah. together. We shared a, a hospital room. And I was sitting there, you know, I was in a lot of pain. There was a lot of neuropathic pain associated with it. But in comparison to other people, I was fine. So there was nothing they can do for me. They didn't, I still have never broken a bone. I've never had stitches. I've never had surgery. And they basically were like, well, you can wait here for another week until the rotator flight can take you home. And I just called the command. I'm like, I want to get out of here. So I went and bought a Delta ticket, took a taxi to the airport and got on a Delta flight. And uh, the command sent an aircraft to get me in New York. And I got right off the aircraft, right on the air another aircraft and made my way home to Virginia Beach.